how does insurance really work? All right. So there's a few terms I was trying to define. Um, there's the premium, the claim, and the reinsurance. So essentially, premium is what you, the customer, pays the insurance company. So you say, okay, like we, we said, the example of car insurance, your car insurance premium is how much you pay to the company to insure you. And there is usually an amount that they will insure you for. So you could be paying $1,000, say once a year or twice a year for your insurance. So if it's twice a year, $50,000, you're paying $100,000. They say in the event that there is some sort of accident, depending on the types of the insurance, we are willing to pay you this amount to cover that cost. So we are willing to pay you $200,000 to cover, say something happened to the car, you need a part or you get into an accident, you have to fix up this, we are willing to pay you that. So on the insurance company side, that's how they would get the claims. So the claim is people claiming the insurance to say, hey, I was paying the premium. This thing happened that we said should trigger the payout. And so the insurance company then has to pay you out or should pay you out. So they do their due diligence. They'll do their assessment. They'll say, okay, like I remember uh, a few years ago, my mom's car was actually stolen and the insurance um, company actually like came to the house and like asked us certain questions about what happened and things like that. Um, so they do their analysis and they say, okay, we are going to pay the claim because technically people sometimes there are people who could fake that their car gets stolen to try to get the money because they're saying, hey, maybe the insurance value is more than I could sell a car at, um, or I would just like that cash quickly. Um, I can fake that. And then, you know, so the claim is what the insurance Twitter, company. There's, there's a video on Twitter of um, people doing that where they mm -hmm. would access. Uh, so basically the person drove mm -hmm. in front of this pickup and then stopped immediately. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, tried to get an accident so they could get the insurance payout or so on, and they, they mm -hmm. slammed on their brakes immediately. Brake checked the the pickup driver, pickup driver mm -hmm. stopped too, right? So there was a decent distance. Then the person in front of them dropped the car in reverse, reverse, and slammed straight into the pickup truck. And then you see like three, four people come out and start videoing, and they're like, "What happened? What the hell happened?" And then this one guy noticed that the pickup driver had a dash cam, and that's when he knew. He messed up because mm. the dash cam recorded everything. So mm. you, you, no way you get in that. So it, I've seen a lot of like that kind of stuff. Insurance is it fraud or so on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So have the premiums versus the claims, and then you have reinsurance, which is essentially insurance for insurance companies. Mm -hmm. GNAC. It is a company listed on Jamaica Stock Exchange, but in the global world of insurance, it's a tiny company. There are companies yeah. that are a hundred times, maybe even a thousand times the size of GNAC. And so you can imagine that if GNAC says insurance for cars and whatever types we'll get it to, there's a chance that people could claim the money. So say a lot of people get into accidents or there's some hurricane, it damages a lot of cars. And that was a part of the insurance that if there is hurricane damage, from a tree, from water, whatever, we will pay you a certain value. A lot of people were to claim the money at a certain time, GNAC could then have issues having to pay that. So reinsurance is insurance for the insurance company. So GNAC essentially has some insurance on some of their insurance policies to help them in the event of these payouts. So a mm -hmm. lot of insurance companies do it, I guess. I don't really know how high up the, can you kind of mention that it, every company like, okay, Say there's a GNAC and then there's a company that's maybe five times the size of GNAC who then insures GNAC. Then maybe that company itself, who's an insurance company, could then get in reinsurance from someone else. But that's kind of how, I guess, the insurance industry works. And the key part is that you, so they take the premiums that you pay. And, I mean, at the end of the day, you hope that the event that you're insuring the person for won't happen. So you hope that... Yeah they won't have this car accident or accident or you know, this machine won't go down. But there is an analysis that you do to see the likelihood of that happening. So they involve like that involves a lot of math actuaries They'll, and other types of insurance, like life insurance, they do a whole analysis. They look into things like your family history, the conditions you have, your age to predict the likelihood that you're going to die, things like that. And they work out, okay, there's a math 
analysis they do to say, okay, this is how much you should pay. But essentially, the money that they collect, insurance companies, they invest it. So they invest just like you and us. Mm -hmm. They invest in stocks, they invest in bonds, they invest in all kind of different asset classes. And that's essentially what they do. Like that in the money that they take, that they don't have to pay out, they invest it and that money grows. And we'll I'll show it in a sense, like you can see Gina, how much they actually make from their investments. But I mean, even someone that people love, uh, Warren Buffett, He's very big on insurance. That's how his company Berkshire Hathaway made a lot of their money. Mm -hmm. It was from insurance. And they had like, for example, Geico, everyone knows Geico. Own Geico. They wholly own Geico, I think. So they, because he says, okay, what you can do, I'm the best investor in the world based on my track record. Mm -hmm. What I'll do is just, you give me the money and I'll buy whatever stocks or whatever things I think are undervalued. And then I'll get the return and then pay out. Uh, you need to, oh, some people cover a claim or ask for a claim. Okay, I'll pay them out. And yeah, generate return on the investment. So that's really essentially how the insurance or my understanding of how the insurance business works. And GNAC is in that business. 